Um, Miss Gald, what are you doing? Hey, Miss Oates. So I'm trying to estimate the length of this glue stick. And I'm using my pinky finger, because mm -hmm. that's about a centimeter. Uh -huh. And I was trying to see how long this would be. See, one, but, but you have a video two, to film. Three. Okay, I'm almost in just a second. Okay, okay. Okay, that's about eight centimeters. Let's see, how many? Quarter. This is about an inch, a quarter. Isn't it about an inch, a quarter? I think so. Yeah, okay. You know, I like to buy ice cream with my quarters. Two, three, four. Okay, so it's about eight centimeters and four inches. Okay, so I need to know that. Okay. Okay, I'm ready now. We can go, we can go do this. Alright, yay! Let's get started. Hey boys and girls, it's Miss Gowd here. Today we're going to talk about estimating length. So what does it mean when you say you're estimating? An estimate is very close to the actual length of an object. It's a very, very good guess on how long the object is. So for example, we have different things here that we can use to estimate. So if you look at your pinky finger here, so everybody hold up your pinky finger. Your pinky finger across is about a centimeter long. Now, it's about because not everybody's pinky fingers measure the same length. So, this would be about a centimeter, because centimeters are very small. A quarter measures about an inch. Now, all quarters are the same size, but they're not quite an inch, but it's very close, so that's why we say it's an estimate. A loaf of bread measures a foot. Now, after Ms. Gowd ate a couple sandwiches and I used a few pieces of these, this bread, it's not going to be a foot long. This would be a brand new loaf of bread that you just bought from Walmart. That would be a foot long. A door would be, and that would be a cross, measuring a cross, would be one meter or one yard. Now, I have a meter stick and a yard stick here. And I will tell you that a meter stick, if you can see, I have both. A meter stick is a little bit longer than a yardstick. The yardstick is the one on top. The meter stick is the one that I have on bottom. And you can see the meter stick is poking out underneath it because a meter stick is a little bit longer. So that's why we say the door across could be a meter or a yard because it depends on how big the door is. So let's, let's start estimating. Let's look at this marker here. Say we wanted to estimate the length of this marker and we have an eraser. And we say the eraser measures about an inch long. And if I want to use the, me the eraser to measure this marker, I would want to estimate and say, okay, if that eraser's one inch, how many erasers would I fit across the marker? If you say about four erasers long, I agree. It would take about four erasers to measure the length of this marker. So that means the marker is about four inches long because each eraser measures about one inch. Now, if we wanted to know, now what is the actual length of the marker? That is when we take a ruler, if we're using inches, we can use a ruler, and we would measure with the ruler from the very front very beginning of the marker, all the way to the very end of the marker. And you can see that our estimate was correct because the marker is four inches long. Remember, your estimate should be very close to the actual length. So if you said that you estimated the marker to be three inches, that's close to four because that's only one number off. So that would be a good estimate. But if you said the marker was 10 inches long, that wouldn't be a good estimate. So estimates have to be very close to the actual length. So when we make estimates, we want to think about that. It has to be very close to our actual measurements. So let's look at here. 
we have a playground slide and we want to know what would be a, the best estimate for the length of this playground slide. So we have three estimates. We have 30 yards, 14 inches, or five feet. Well, I have a yardstick here. I'm going to take this yardstick here and we're going to see. Okay, this is one yard. Remember, this would be a playground slide. So this would be one that's on the playground outside. This is one yard. Would it take 30 of these side to side to measure the length of a slide? Probably not. That's way too many. So it wouldn't be 30 yards. 14 inches? Well, I know that a ruler has 12 inches. So this is 12 inches and you add two more inches to that, would that be the length of a playground slide? No, that would be very small, too small for a playground slide. Or five feet. Again, this is a ruler. This is one foot. 12 inches equals one foot. So if I had five of these side to side, that would be a good estimate for the length of a playground slide. Very good. So our best estimate would be five feet for a playground slide. What about a good estimate for the length of a park bench? So let's see, we have 10 inches. Hmm, going back to my ruler. My ruler has, how many inches are on a ruler again? 12, that's right, 12. So there's 12 inches on a ruler and we would only use 10 of these inches. No, Miss Gal couldn't even sit on that. That wouldn't be, that would be way too small. So that would be too small, 10 inches. Let's look at 24 meters. So here is my meter stick. 24 of these side to side. No, that's way too big, right? 24 of these side to side, too big for a park bench. Or two yards. Here's a yardstick. Two of these, side to side. That would be a good estimate for a park bench. So the best estimate, we're going to say, is two yards. Let's estimate how many smiley faces long the iReady monsters are. So we have one smiley face down here. We want to know about how many smiley faces it would be from the beginning of our monsters to the end of our monsters. So here's one, so that would be about one, two, three, four. How many do you think it would take? Good. Four? Yeah, I agree. I think a four would be a good estimate. So let's take our smiley faces. And remember when you are measuring using objects, you have to put those objects side to side to where they touch but they do not overlap and you can't have any spaces between them, so they had to touch right there on the edge here, but not overlap. Okay, let's see. Oh, there we go. Three. Four. Good. If you said four smiley faces, you were exactly right. It would take four smiley faces to measure the length of the iReady monsters. So earlier we talked about a loaf of bread being an estimate of being about a foot long. So which object below in real life would be about a foot long? A two liter of Coca-Cola, a Fortnite backpack, a chair, or a pencil? We want to know which one would be about a foot long. Well, a pencil is too small. That wouldn't be a foot long. Because a pencil, I could use a pencil, I could use a ruler to measure a pencil, but it would be a lot smaller than the ruler. So it wouldn't exactly be a foot long because it'd be smaller than the ruler. What about a chair? Yeah, that's too big. That would be a lot bigger than a foot long because it would be bigger than a ruler. What about a Fortnite backpack? That's a nice backpack, right? Too big, huh? Yeah. It would probably be maybe two feet long. If you were to use rulers, you could measure it in two feet. 
but one foot long would be, that wouldn't be, it would be too big for that. What about a two liter of Coke? So a two liter of Coke, if you think about a two liter of Coke, those are the ones that are about a foot long. So if you were to measure two liter of Coke, that would be the best estimate for a foot long. So we're going to circle the two liter of Coke to show that it would be about the same size as a loaf of bread. All right, guys, now I want you to estimate an item in your classroom, or if you're at home, estimate something there at your house. You can use your pinky finger, which is about a centimeter long, or if you have a quarter, you can get a quarter and use a quarter because that's about an inch long. And I want you to first estimate the length of something. Then I want you to actually measure that item and see how long it is. So you can get a ruler after you've measured it, after you've estimated it, get a ruler to see what the actual measurement of that item is. And remember, your estimate should be very close to your actual measurement. I can't wait to see what you came up with, guys. Have a great day.